Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a video for you installing some new scales on this little guy right here. This is the Benchmade Knives Bug Out. This is a factory fresh Benchmade Knives Bug Out, and I've actually kept it around pretty much explicitly, both because it is a point of reference in the EDC community, being as popular as it is, but also um, because it is a common knife for modding. And a lot of people have talked to me about, like, hey, you know, can you do some bug out scale reviews? And so I ended up picking one of these guys up recently. But, anyways, um, it's just it's a good thing to have around as a reviewer. Recently, uh, so there's a company called Flytanium, and I'll go ahead and I'll drop a sticker on the table here. That's how it's pronounced. Um, but Flytanium is a company that seems, for the most part, to do titanium scales for things that didn't originally have titanium scales. Right, I've seen them doing things for the Benchmade Bugout, clearly the uh, Spydeco PM2, etc. They've done a lot of scales that are actually very attractive um, for a whole bunch of knives. And recently, they sent uh, posted a new set of scales that they've done. And that's these little guys right here. These are their crossfade bug out titanium blasted scales. I saw these guys on Instagram and I think I commented along the lines of, holy crap, those are attractive. Um, shortly after they were in my DM saying, hey Nick, uh, would you be interested in getting a pair? And uh, well, turns out I would. And just for full disclosure, these guys, uh, the, the, the scales they sent me were provided directly from Flytanium. Um, they, I told I sent them a link to my disclaimer, told them to talk about the good, the great, bad, the ugly. Might be a gem, might be junk. They still did send them along. We have to assume these are the best quality controlled one of these guys ever. And I'm doing my best not to let that affect my review. Anyways, with that said, they, they sent along a pair of these guys. But they also sent along, unbeknownst to me, a second pair of these guys. Uh, which... I'm going to go on ahead and install this pair, right? Um, they, they, they appear to know my style in videos and certainly logo because this is uh, absolutely my logo here. Uh, hold on, let me grab a sticker out of here. Uh, yeah, here we go. This would be my logo right here. So they have put my logo on the scales, lasered it on, or maybe vinyled it on. I'm not 100% sure how they went about that, but I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to install these pair. Right. So uh, we're going to see just how straightforward these uh, scales are to install on the Benchmade uh, bug out here. One thing that's worth noting is that this guy is not quite centered. It's favoring the clip side slightly. So, you know, we'll see about that. But uh, at the very least, let's go on ahead and put these guys together and uh, we'll just see how that goes. It's occasionally entertaining, these kind of situations, where the maker goes um, perhaps unnecessarily above and beyond. They go a little bit extra. Um, at some level, I understand it to be... Uh it's cute, right? It's them trying to go the extra mile uh, for for me and I suppose for my for my fans. Uh, and I, at that level, it makes a lot of sense, right? I, I get it 100%. At another level, there's a little bit of discomfort, right? Like at some level, you could see this as, oh, it's a payola, they're, they're currying favor. Eh, but, you know, I try to assume the best and assume that you guys, my uh, viewers, are going to be able to, well, have whatever opinion about it you'd like. But nonetheless, it's cute. Right? I saw that and I just started laughing. Right? I'm opening this guy in my garage and I just bust out laughing. And my wife's like, why? Well, what's wrong with you? Um, well, many, many things, honey. But uh, in this particular case, yeah, they went ahead and they, they did that. And it seems awkward, you know, to, well, it would certainly be awkward not to mention it. And then it feels like, oh, shady under the table stuff. Um, but it's also sort of... Um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, it's always entertaining, right? Um, and as a result, I've ended up with a weird little collection of stuff with my logo on it. Um, it's not super common, and I'm not necessarily encouraging makers to do that, right? It's not, I don't need that kind of special treatment. My ego is plenty big enough. Thank you very much. Um, but, yeah, it's it's definitely, it's a thing that occasionally happens and always is both hilarious and awkward for me. <laughs> Which, Hilarious and Awkward, is actually not a bad memoir title. Um, that's assuming that I'm ever hilarious. Maybe giving me too much benefit of the doubt here. What I'm doing to start with here is just taking this guy apart. I've got a mat that's got, you know, little pockets here um, that, that I can organize the um, screws that are coming off of here with. And what we see here is that we've already taken off one of the scales. Standoffs, it looks like this is probably just going to use the factory standoffs, or at least I sure hope so, because they didn't include another set. But anyways, um, I'm pulling the blade out there just so that it's not in play, so to speak, as I am uh, taking these last screws out. Specifically, this guy is the last one I need. But, um, yeah, nonetheless, always, uh, always entertaining, right? 
There we go. So this guy goes here, and this guy goes here. And now all that remains is to remove the pivot. And the pivot, I can just push through. It'll be a little easier if I do this with the axis lock disengaged. Why is this not wanting to go through? Hmm. I'm going to grab another tool here and see if I can't do it this way. Come on. There we go. And we're popped out. And now I can grab this guy and remove it slowly but surely. Come on, bro. Using my little pry tool. If you're curious about any of the tools I'm using, by the way, nickshabazz.com slash tools will explain all all of these things to you in exquisite detail and there we go you eat the pivot across the room and we have the original scales removed so now the next question is well where do i go from here how do i take it from here so uh i'm gonna go on ahead and i'm gonna pull out the two uh washers here make sure those are good to go and one approach would be to actually just reinstall this packet sort of together as one. And that's actually, I think, the, the method I'm going to choose here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this guy down on the table in the proper orientation. And I am going to start just putting screws into it directly. I'm going to use a little bit of blue Loctite. Um, in this case, Loctite on a stick here. Put things there together. By the way, the, what you're seeing here is not inconsistency in the an, uh, anodization. It is instead uh, just oil from my hand, which will um, subtly change the color of anodization uh, initially. Once I've kind of properly felt these scales all up, which... That's probably not the way I'm ever going to phrase that again. Uh, but nonetheless, once I've done that, these will go to a consistent coloration. But uh, for the moment... There is a little bit of inconsistency there, and that's not something that should be, you know, considered a fault of the product, but instead, just they've not been used enough. So at this point, I have that guy there. Uh, what my next goal here is going to be to place the backspace, or rather, standoffs in here. One thing that's worth noting is that the standoffs have a little bit of D-shape to them, and they've put a little bit of D-shape in the hole here, uh, which is good. Okay, uh... Next step is gonna, I'm gonna go in ahead and put that screw in there. Beautiful. And once that goes in, there we go. And here we go. Ah, right, come on now. That's a little much in the way of Loctite there. All right. The reason I'm doing it in this way is it will just make my life substantially easier to reassemble this knife if I can do so in sort of the conventional bench-made integral style approach, right? Um, and so you'll see how this, this works in a moment here. But it's just easier to do it this way than it is to uh, go any other way. I should double-check to make sure. Yeah, okay. Good, this is moving freely. Right now, this feels easier than expected, but I may be eating those words here soon. They are looking awful tasty. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead and put this in there. I do like this pattern, though, a lot, right? Because I think Flytanium has had other scales for the bug out, but this is the most sort of complicated set they've done. Oh, there we go. Took a second for that to fully seat itself, meaning they've got a little bit more, you know, and it's even easier to show on this one, but they've got a little bit more borderline, like, cyberpunky, outrunny um, interpolation lines between the curves. It's, 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 it's nice. I genuinely did find those really attractive, so they reached out to me. He's like, uh, well, yes, actually. Anyways, they also sent a t-shirt for full print transparency which okay anyways i digress uh so now we've got the handles put back together everything seems to be secure and frankly much more uh <laughs> much more durable feeling than the original bug out let's go on ahead and lubricate things up the way i'm gonna go on ahead and install the blade here is by uh i'm gonna put a little bit of lubrication on the blade itself here boom and boom 
And then I'm going to set this down, this being a washer, down here in such a way that it ends up in the middle there. And now I'm going to slowly insert this whole affair into this, into place. So I cannot get this guy in position with the axis lock uh, in its fully uh, this way position. I need to not do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use uh, this sticker to push the washer into its position on one side. I flip the knife over and I use the sticker again to do that on the other side. Also, a business card would work well there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little lubrication. Actually, I'll clean this off first. Just to make sure there's nothing on there. But anyways, uh, let's see here. Which side has the... Okay. There's a D-shape to the pivot, so that needs to face the top. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of look through here and make sure that everything seems roughly in alignment. Now what I'm doing is I'm using my thumb here to press this axis bar this way, and then I'm pressing... Wow, it's through already. Then I'm just pressing it through the other side. And now, assuming that I've got the washers in there, we should be good to go, ready to rumble, so to speak. I don't know that there's going to be any rumbling here, but who knows. Damn, I'm good. Did I just cut myself? No, I don't think so. Yeah, hashtag not a brilliant man. This is one of the arguments, by the way, for uh, making a... Uh, for always putting some kind of tape or something on a blade that you're working on. Did I really... Yes, I did install the... Well, actually, I don't know that it looks better or worse with the screw on the show side or the lock side. Probably should be the other way around. Well, okay. At the very least, what do we got here? Looks great. No play. A little tight. You know, I'm going to flip it around. I feel like that would work a little bit better there. And I'd like to tempt fate once again. Um, <laughs> God, I'm dumb. All right. So once I press this pivot through, uh, you will see that, uh, well... This uh, will start flopping around. My goal here is to try and keep everything in rough position and then just literally push the pivot through to the other side. But, okay, pull that loose, pivot out, pull it through, push it in. Come on, pivot, don't fight me here. Because if I can keep the washers from moving... Oh, boy, would that be a joy. Just adjusting it so that the D-shape is going in the right direction. I may not actually have that done, but there... Ah, damn it. See, the blade has gone off of its... Uh, it's gone off. All right. Well, at the very least, I'm going to try and get the, the D-shape in position. That should allow me to flip the thing over. Pull back on the axis lock. Ah... Uh, I butchered it. All right, so the, the, the next approach here is going to be to get everything. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Flightadium, aren't you glad you sent these to me? I'd like to, 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 to share that, you know, if I had done that right the first time, I uh, this would be very easy. But anyways, um, I'm going ahead and put those there. A little easier to do this with the blade out for easier manipulation. Okay, I want to make sure that I've pulled the pivot up so that it's... I don't want any part of the pivot sticking into this gap between the scales because that'll prevent me from getting the washers in properly. Okay, now what I do is I push the washers into position here. And... Went a little too far. It's probably going to be easier if I have that out for the moment. Okay, beautiful. There's that. So the washer is now roughly in position. Let's go ahead and drop the pivot in here. My goal is going to be to get a single kind of snap as I get through 
to the middle of the washer. I'm a little greedy here, but I think I can push it the rest of the way through. No, I can't, because this is the washer. Luckily, I only have to back it up a little bit, right? I only need to get the pivot out far enough that I can slide the washer into place. So right now, we're in a little bit of a, not dangerous particularly, position, but just use this. Ah. Use the sticker here. Come on. I feel like my... Okay, pivot is in too far. So let me pull this back a little bit. Kind of looking in through the top to see where everything is in position. Now I can push this into place. Use this little watch spring bar tool to get everything there. Okay, and now I should be able to. There we go. And we have snapped the rest of the way through. Beautiful. All right, now we're back to where we were a couple minutes ago. You've seen me attack the problem in a slightly different way. I'm going to go on ahead and declare that that whole screw-up of putting that in the wrong side, that was a teachable moment right there. That's why I did it. Um, holy uh, idiocy becomes education. What can I say? Okay, um, no blade play. Whew. And actually, more or less dead centered. Really? No play? Hey, sweet. So it actually, it appears that the uh, the, 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 the flightanium scales here <laughs> fix the centering issue, uh, which, you know, at some level shouldn't shock me, right? Because, you know, you might expect the tolerances to be a little tighter, machining metal rather than pressing plastic, but still, damn, nice. Uh, one thing that's worth noting is that this particular set of scales does not have both right and left side carry options, uh, which is going to be uh, a, a demerit for the sinister in the audience. But uh, nonetheless, it is uh, it is a thing. Almost makes the clip look pretty down market here. But at the same time, that really does give this whole thing a whole different affair, doesn't it? It's a very different world. Okay, both the washes are in beautifully. The action is smooth. Centering is... About as close to dead on as I'd want. Maybe. I, yeah, it's, it's pretty much dead on. Action's great. Knife feels great. Looks pretty solid. Um, I'm not necessarily sure that these scales are a gem yet, but, uh, first blush. Nice. So anyways, there's your installation video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do a full review. Just, well, okay, it'll probably be a quick review, because the knife isn't that different. Um, but at the same time, oh. As I've been manipulating it a little bit, a little play developed, that's just because I haven't, uh, the next step here is going to be to put this guy aside for about 24 hours, let the uh, Loctite um, cure up a little bit. Uh, it's not shocking that it might loosen a little bit as I am uh, playing with it here. But anyways, that was pretty easy, even with me being a bit of an idiot. Um, thank you, Flightanium, for sending these guys along, and I will uh, report back, so to speak, with a uh, full... Uh, full review of it later on, but I hope this has been interesting to you. Yeah, see, it's becoming a lot more transparent, or uh, a lot more consistent as I uh, handle these guys more. Thanks, Flight Danium, for sending these guys along, and hope that you all found this interesting, and that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.